given the nature of our relationship is how do you know that this guy is the guy? The father. Our membership site is growing and we want you to be a part of it. We have over a hundred videos, so many exercises, tons of ways for you to learn, grow, heal, and inspire with us. Come on over and see what it's all about. Hi beautiful people, my name is Connor. I'm Brittany. Thanks so much for watching. Today we're talking about me. Yay. And you. And us. And our baby. And, you know, we posted recently kind of our announcement. That was only like under a month ago, basically. Yeah. And I think one of the biggest questions we got, given the nature of our relationship, is how do you know that this guy is the guy? The father. Uh-huh. Yeah. So how, how, how do we know that? Oh, well, because it is in fact your sperm. <laughs> sperm that was ejaculated from your penis. Indeed. That fertilized my egg. That is how we know. That's how we and know. So are you telling me that, because I thought you were a poly, so doesn't that mean that you like let a lot of people just ejaculate inside of you whenever they oh, want? Oh, um, no. <laughs> that might be, you might be <laughs> mistaken. Oh, uh, okay. All right, well. So there we go. <laughs> yeah, to be more specific, um, well, first of all, no, I can't think of the last time anybody besides you mm -hmm. inside me. But anyway. Well, no, I mean, I think that's an important a yes. little piece of it, yeah, though, of to, to clear up because, you know, um, there we do have a lot of people who watch, a, watch our channel who are very versed in healthy polyamorous dynamics yes. and understand that, you know, um, poly doesn't equal uh in orgy or like constant sex play right. or it's not even necessarily focused on sex it might be for some relationships right. but in the context of our relationship you know polyamory means that we have an open style relationship where we interact in a lot of dynamic ways with people in a free way uh it doesn't mean that we're just having sex willy-nilly it could but it, it doesn't mean that for us right and specifically around this time where we were intentionally wanting to bring this soul through, we were intention intentionally chose this time yeah. to create a child. During those cycles, I'd say there are two like active, t active cycles, and during those cycles we chose, and I chose, not to share space with other lovers. Um, and specifically not to have intercourse. I guess there was like very little amount of sharing space i can think of just like a lover that we shared space mm -hmm. with together coming to mind and that felt really good energetically to know that we're putting our energy and our sexual energy into the creation of this child and it also felt really good for me even though like with the people who i have or do have intercourse with um i i like using condoms and even though like i I was already sure that that wouldn't come up. It felt like it added an extra level of assuredness for both of us that was really easy and really pleasant for me to bring Absolutely. to the whole situation. So there was just no other interactions like that during those times, so it's just totally not possible. Yeah, and you know, we've been um, talking about creating this life for a number of years, and in the last year, I guess 14 months, 16 months even, we've sort of determined that we wanted to do it around the time that we did end up doing yeah. it. So we had a lot of time leading up to it where we knew like it's, you were getting close to that time when we're really going to put a lot of intention into it. And we made, um, we talked about this a little bit in some videos in regards to the amount of intention, energy yeah. and conscious effort like not just the act of having intercourse, but really everything around it. We were putting sure. so much energy and awareness into the creation of this life that it really just made sense, I think, to both of us to like harness our primary sexual energy into that, fo for that purpose and yeah. that focus. And we both really wanted to be like 100% sure that there was no possibility you know, and when you do say yes to something, um, when you do open yourself up and you say, I want a child, I, I, I think your body turns on and, and is ready, you know, to take it on. And so, like, um, it makes sense that, you know, we would be even more sensitive. Yeah. So, 
yeah, it, it was a uh, it, it was such a beautiful time, you know, to put all this intention into this space, and that was just an additional thing that felt really important to us. And I think that this underlying theme of intention is so interlaced throughout our entire relationship and in in throughout our entire lives. Mm -hmm. And so everything really comes back to this, and we love to reconnect with why are we doing this? What feels important for us to embrace around it? And so, mm. yeah, I just, I love that word and I love how it's transformed our lives to be more intentional about every little thing that, that we're choosing. And we really do appreciate the questions, you know, I don't They're think so any, any of these questions were coming from a rude place no. or anything. I, I was just kind of making fun of the, the idea of yeah, yeah, you the place banging a bunch of people. Good. But, yeah, um, which like maybe, maybe, but yeah, maybe but this, yeah, but you know, just to be clear that we, this has been um, something very intentional for us for a long time, and so we really, we took all the steps possible to really make sure that it was what we want it to be, and yeah, uh, yeah so. Thanks so much for the questions. Keep them coming. If you want to check out some more in-depth videos on this and other aspects of our lives, we have two options for that now. One would be our membership site, which is just fantastic. A lot of great content over there. And additionally, we started a Connor and Brittany lifestyle and family channel. So we'll put all that stuff in an easy place to find in the description box and probably on this video as well. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. It lets us know that you're enjoying the content. Mm -hmm. Bye.